Apollo 13 astronauts were headed to the moon. It was NASA's third moon landing mission, but the astronauts never made it to the lunar surface. During the mission, an oxygen tank explosion forced the crew to forego the moon. A quantum AI just rewrote the history of the Apollo 13 disaster. By processing 50 years of archived data in a matter of hours, it found a truth that has been hiding in plain sight. The famous bang wasn't the start of the failure. It was the end of a process that had begun days earlier. It just had a big bang at one time. And so we all looked around. What happened? What's that? I looked up at Fred Hayes to see if he knew what was going on. The AI pinpointed faint warning signals, a digital ghost in the machine's code, and an electrical flaw so fundamental that it put the crews of Apollo 12 and 14 in the exact same danger. We thought it was one unlucky mission. The truth is, it was a systemic catastrophe that we barely survived. The ticking clock nobody heard. 36 hours before the explosion, oxygen tank number one began exhibiting what was dismissed at the time as random noise. These were tiny, almost imperceptible pressure fluctuations, so small that they blended in perfectly with the normal static of a complex machine hurtling through space. To the engineers in Houston, it was nothing. But to the quantum system, which could analyze the entire data stream as a single, interconnected entity, it wasn't noise at all. It was a pattern, a repeating, rhythmic waveform hidden in the chaos. The AI cross-referenced this specific micro-fluctuation signature against a database of trillions of material stress simulations. The result was a jaw-dropping, 94% correlation with the molecular breakdown of thermal insulation wiring. To put it mildly, this was the equivalent of a loud fire alarm going off that only a dog could hear. The tank's protective lining wasn't just damaged, it was actively disintegrating, piece by microscopic piece, releasing faint energy pulses with every break. Today, an onboard diagnostic system would flag this immediately, grounding the mission without a second thought. But back then, the warning was completely invisible, lost in the static. For 50 years, that digital cry for help sat in NASA's archives, a silent testament to a disaster that was already in motion. The most chilling part is that the data was always there. The heroes in Mission Control made incredible decisions to save the crew, but they were working with incomplete information. They were trying to solve a puzzle with half the pieces missing, and the most important piece was a warning that had been sounding for over a day. What many overlooked is that the systems of that era were built to report big failures, not the slow, creeping sickness that was festering deep inside Apollo 13. The spacecraft was dying a slow death, and the AI's first discovery proved that the final bang wasn't a sudden accident. It was an appointment with destiny. This initial finding was startling enough, but it was just the tip of the iceberg. The AI didn't just look at the pressure data, it started analyzing the spacecraft's command logic, the very brains of the machine. It wanted to know if the system was just ignorant of its own failure, or if something more sinister was at play. The answer it found was a true nightmare, a digital ghost that was actively helping to hide the impending doom from the very people trying to stop it. The system wasn't just broken, it was in a way a liar. The machine was designed to hide its own catastrophic failure, when the machine lied. Here is where the story shifts from a tale of mechanical failure to something far more unsettling. The quantum AI, after identifying the early warning signs, began to simulate the flow of information between the spacecraft and mission control. It was searching for anomalies, for moments where the data didn't quite add up, and it found something that no engineer in the 1970s could have ever predicted, a hidden feedback loop a digital ghost in the machine's architecture that was designed to mask its own failures. Many people are crazy about conspiracy theories, but this was a conspiracy of circuitry, an unintentional but deadly flaw in the system's logic. The AI discovered that when ground commands were sent to the spacecraft's systems within a very specific and narrow time window, 0.6 seconds of each other, to be exact, a sinister glitch would occur. If a command to the DC power bus was followed by another command to the heater relay circuits in this time frame, the pressure sensors for the oxygen tanks would enter a state of false stability. The AI ran over 94,000 simulated command sequences to confirm this. In every single instance, the precise timing of these routine commands created a brief window 
where critical warning indicators were actively suppressed. The telemetry stream sent back to Earth would show everything was perfectly fine. Green lights across the board, normal pressure readings. While internally, the systems were cascading toward a catastrophic end. You can see this everywhere in complex systems, but never on this scale. Imagine driving a car where the check engine light is programmed to turn off if you use the turn signal and the radio at the exact same time. The controllers in Houston weren't just missing the warning signs. They were being deliberately misled by the very machine they were trying to save. During those critical moments right before the explosion, when the crew was asked to stir the cryogenic tanks, mission control saw exactly what they expected to see, stable pressures and normal operations. But inside tank number two, a firestorm was already beginning. An electrical arc was igniting the insulation, and the spacecraft's own electronics were covering up the evidence. This ghost loop explains why the explosion seemed to come from out of absolutely nowhere. There was no gradual buildup of warnings because the system was programmed to lie. The thing nobody tells you is that the Apollo spacecraft was a marvel of its time, but it was also a labyrinth of interconnected systems that no single human could fully comprehend. The engineers had designed what they believed were robust, independent systems. But the AI simulation proved that these systems had secret conversations, creating unintended consequences that were invisible until it was far too late. The ghost loop was not a malicious design. It was an emergent property of immense complexity, but its effect was the same. It ensured that by the time the crew and controllers realized there was a problem, the situation was already past the point of no return. The system was literally hiding its own demise. But what the AI uncovered next was even more shocking. The bang was an echo. Everything you think you know about the timeline of the Apollo 13 accident is wrong. The quantum AI didn't just analyze what happened, it mapped the probability of when things happened down to the nanosecond. And its discovery completely flips the entire disaster sequence on its head. That famous heart-stopping bang that crippled the spacecraft wasn't the beginning of the disaster. In a terrifying twist, it was actually the grand finale. The AI found a staggering 21% probability that the true failure began minutes, or possibly even hours, before the crew heard a sound. The simulation pointed to a high-energy back current surge originating from the DC power bus. This surge, a rogue wave of electricity, was powerful enough to have already ignited a pre-fire inside oxygen tank number two. This wasn't a raging inferno, but a slow, hidden combustion, burning away at the Teflon wiring insulation in the oxygen-rich environment. This hidden fire was burning completely undetected, steadily building pressure and heat inside the tank until the final fateful command to stir the fans. That stir didn't cause the explosion. It was merely the straw that broke the camel's back. It agitated the superheated high-pressure slush of liquid oxygen, providing the final burst of energy needed to trigger the massive rupture that everyone heard. Think about the implications of this. For decades, the official story was that flipping the fan switch exposed damaged wiring, caused a spark, and detonated the tank. But the AI suggests the explosion was a response, the final, violent reaction to a fire that was already consuming the tank's interior. The AI calls this phenomenon quantum causality inversion. In simple terms, the physical cause, the combustion, happened long before the dramatic effect that was perceived by the astronauts. The crew and mission control experienced the loud, terrifying end of a disaster chain, not the beginning. This completely reframes the event. The trigger wasn't a single switch creating a single spark. It was a creeping, cascading failure that had been building in secret, invisible to every sensor and every human eye at NASA. The spacecraft was a pressure cooker and the crew had no way of knowing they were sitting on top of it. The most shocking fact is that this wasn't a freak accident. The conditions for this pre-fire were baked into the system's design. The potential for a back current surge, the vulnerability of the wiring, the oxygen-rich environment. It was a perfect storm, waiting for a spark. The AI proved the spark likely happened long before the bang, but the biggest and most terrifying discovery came when the AI looked beyond Apollo 13. A fleet of time bombs. This is the part of the story that will truly keep you up at night. 
The quantum AI didn't stop its analysis with Apollo 13. With its newfound understanding of the system's hidden flaws, it ran a deep telemetry analysis on the missions that flew immediately before and after it. Apollo 12 and Apollo 14. Every single piece of data was fed into its simulation. The sensor readings, command sequences, environmental logs, electrical outputs, even the smallest fluctuations in cabin pressure. Nothing was too small, nothing overlooked. The AI reconstructed the missions down to the sub-millisecond level, replaying them over and over in a virtual environment capable of revealing weaknesses no human engineer could ever detect. The results were nothing short of horrifying. The AI confirmed what had been suspected only in whispers. Both of these other missions carried identical failure profiles in their oxygen tank systems. The same hidden wiring flaws, the same vulnerabilities in thermal protection, the same hair-trigger electrical faults that almost cost the lives of the Apollo 13 crew were lurking in Apollo 12 and Apollo 14. These weren't isolated anomalies. These were structural, systemic errors baked into the very design of the spacecraft. To put it mildly, Apollo 12 and Apollo 14 weren't just similar to Apollo 13. They were flying with the exact same ticking time bombs. The AI's simulation revealed, with a precision that made the hairs on the back of your neck stand up, that even tiny deviations in routine procedures could have triggered catastrophic failures. If the crew of Apollo 12 had performed their oxygen tank stir moments earlier or later, or if electrical loads had shifted by even a fraction, Pete Conrad, Alan Bean, and Richard Gordon might have perished in orbit before Apollo 13 had even cleared the launch tower. And Apollo 14? The analysis showed that its wiring and tank configuration was just as precarious. It was a miracle that those missions survived at all. What many overlooked is that the flaw was not in human error or a misstep in mission operations. This was a flaw in the very bones of the spacecraft. A seemingly small manufacturing oversight, a thermostat switch incompatible with ground test equipment, had frayed the wiring insulation during pre-flight testing. That damage was invisible, carried like a hidden wound into space. Engineers on the ground and astronauts in orbit never had a clue that the mechanisms they trusted implicitly were silently corroding under the surface. The fragility of the system was encoded into its DNA. This wasn't luck, it wasn't chance. The quantum simulation demonstrated that this outcome was statistically inevitable given the design. Apollo 13 did not get unlucky. Apollo 12 and 14 merely escaped disaster by narrow margins. The realization is bone-chilling. NASA, despite its brilliance, despite having the most sophisticated minds and resources, had unknowingly put nine astronauts in spacecraft that were fundamentally primed to fail in exactly the same way. Three missions, three crews, three potential catastrophes waiting for the right or wrong combination of events to unfold. It's staggering to think about. The agency had been unwittingly playing Russian roulette with human lives, and they had no idea the chamber was loaded. The human cost of this realization is almost unbearable. These were not simulations or statistics on paper. These were living, breathing people, explorers venturing into the void, whose survival depended on machinery that could have turned on them in a blink. The thought that one routine procedure, one electrical spike, one slight miscalculation could have transformed heroism into tragedy is something that haunts the imagination. And then there's the pressure, the relentless push to succeed. The Apollo program wasn't reckless, but it was driven by urgency, by politics, by a race against time. In that environment, assumptions were made. It was assumed that a system that survived one mission would survive the next. The AI's analysis proves that assumption was catastrophically flawed. The flaw wasn't a one-off anomaly, it was a ghost haunting an entire fleet of spacecraft. The more the AI unraveled the telemetry, the more it became clear that Apollo 13's near disaster was not a single freak occurrence. It was the predictable outcome of a hidden systemic danger. This is why the story lingers in the mind, long after the technical details fade. It isn't just a tale of survival or ingenuity. It's a reminder of how fragile human endeavor can be when even the smallest imperfection goes unnoticed. It's a warning that behind every heroic mission, there may be a hidden peril, a silent specter waiting to claim its due. And for Apollo 12, 13, and 14, 
that specter came terrifyingly close. This quantum analysis forces us to ask a difficult question. How many other hidden disasters are lurking in our most advanced technologies, waiting for the right moment? Let us know what you think in the comments. And if you want more stories that challenge history, make sure to like and subscribe.